come and bake with me. Today we're going to be making an easy three ingredient peanut butter cookie, naturally gluten and dairy free. Welcome everyone to my channel where I share the simple things in my island life located on the east coast of Canada. I share things like cooking, baking, lifestyle, gardening, passion projects, and everything in between. If this is something you enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. So first off, we're going to be adding one cup of your favorite peanut butter. We're then going to be adding one cup of sugar. Here I'm going to be using cane sugar. You're then going to add one whole large egg. And for this recipe, I am going to continue to keep it gluten and dairy free, but I am going to be adding three quarters of a cup of Enjoy Life chocolate chips. This recipe is naturally three ingredients of gluten and dairy free. Any modifications you make to it, you might want to continue to keep it gluten and dairy free, since that's the focus on this channel. Once we have everything combined, I'm then going to be taking a parchment lined cookie sheet and rolling about two tablespoons of cookie dough into my hands and placing it on the cookie sheet. Once I have done this, I'm then going to be taking a fork and pressing them down slightly. This is going to leave the nice decorative fork mark in your cookies as well as make them more even and easier to bake to perfection. We are going to be preheating an oven to 350 degrees and baking these cookies for 10 minutes. If you enjoy this content, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you can be notified every time I upload new videos, as this really helps support my channel. We've been growing lovely, and I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for being here. So now that we've got our balls rolled out, as you can see, I'm pressing them down slightly so that they'll have an even bake. Now for Christmas, I got myself a Gourmia air fryer convection oven dehydrator toaster oven, everything all in one as you can see it here. If you would like me to do a review on this air fryer, I had kind of upgraded from a, just a small traditional basket air fryer. So if you would like me to do a review on this air fryer, I'm setting it here on convection oven, setting it at 350 for 10 minutes, and then you start it up and it will preheat. Um, if you would like me to kind of go over the pros and cons, if I like it, I have a small apartment, so it is really great to kind of reduce the heat in the summer. Also, when you're just only cooking for yourself or one or two, it will allow you to just do things a lot more simply on your countertop without using your big oven. So as you can see here, once it's heated up, it will have an add food and beep and flash at you. So I'm placing these cookies in the air fryer on convection bake in the middle rack. So they are going to bake for 10 minutes and I'm going to show you those as soon as they're done. And voila, here they are. Our peanut butter, chocolate chip, gluten and dairy free cookies. These at 10 minutes on convection bake in this little oven turn out absolutely perfect. Now here I'm sprinkling on a little bit of flaky salt. Um, this will complement the sweetness of the peanut butter and the chocolate and level them up a notch. You could also add a little bit of this flaked salt in the recipe as you're making them if you don't want to sprinkle it on top when they're hot. Now once these cookies come out of the oven, you're going to be letting them sit for like three to five minutes until they cool. 
and then move them over to your baking rack. If you try and move them while they're hot, they will just crumble and fall apart. So this is very important. And all of the other cookie dough you can see, I had rolled into balls and it's all ready to be baked. So you would repeat this process until all of your cookies have been baked to perfection. Now this took me three rounds, so it took me 30 minutes to bake all of these cookies, which is still a pretty quick, a pretty quick recipe to pull together. Um, this recipe will yield approximately around 22 lovely cookies. And yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this recipe. I will be sure to um, add the recipe to the description box down below, so have a look there. And yeah, I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Um, I will show you kind of what they're going to look like at the end and how much they will yield. So here we're showing you our second batch of cookies as they come piping hot out of the oven. Now if they happen to last very long, you can just store them in a parchment lined container. You can put them in the fridge if you want to have them nice and cool um, or on the counter will be fine. I don't personally don't think they're going to last that long for you to have to store them very long, but at least you uh, have the option just in case. And there you have it, our naturally gluten and dairy free peanut butter cookies. Thank you for coming along with me today everyone and joining me. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, these are so good.